connecting it. But the reason I had my computer all set up in a closet was so that I could have a standing desk. So I had this old speaker actually, it was this giant double sub woofer, which I had pulled out of an old car that I had at one point. I pulled the sub out, turned it on its side, and had my keyboard sitting on top of that. And then I would stand up and I would have my laptop on the top shelf of the closet so I could have a standing desk. And uh, yeah, I stood for many years of making Songbringer. Um, but these days I'm older and I just want to sit down more often. It's great. It's luxurious. My butt loves sitting down. The <laughs> next game we made from a bed laying down. Yep. Oh my god. Tommy Killer, man, you are you know me so well. This is so funny cuz I I got to admit this already. I actually do lay down to code quite a lot. <laughs> this is you know what I mean? Maybe that happens when you turn 40. That's just cuz I'm 42 now. So like, yeah, I've been laying down writing Wraithbinder for months now. Not so much last year, but this year, man, I've just started finally being like, dude, I just gotta lay down. I'm just gonna lay down. And I do nod off. I nod off and, and take a nap sometimes. Oh, too often. God damn, is, that, is, this, is this what it's like to get, to get older? You just get more tired all the time? Uh, okay, so today's stream is a success in that we've got the mouse code now able to run completely in, a, in the scripting language of the game. So we've got the ability to um, click the mouse and that translates from a 2D mouse position into a 3D mouse position. We've also have the ability to turn that into an actual path. So this is, look at this, how, how I click the mouse here and it creates a path, the entity, the, the character here runs along that path until it gets to the end. And if I'm left clicking, he'll attack at the end, which is an active move. And if I'm right clicking, he will just move to that point. And um, if I'm left clicking also, it will automatically attack any entities along the way. So it's, it's an AI system that is running for the player, but it's different than the bot. So there's, a, there's actually a bot code which allows a character to completely run independently of any human input. This is AI code meant for a human because you have to kind of combine it. When you're, when you're using mouse as an input, you really have to combine that and make it smart with the AI because otherwise there's no way to run a path. There's no way to detect whether you need to fight an enemy along the way. So you really have to combine that. You have to, I had to basically create a special AI um, written in this scripting language of the game to handle mouse movement. So that's that's it. We basically have now converted all the mouse code to run in the game's scripting language, and here we are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fight this guy again a little bit, and that'll be it for today's stream. So there's one bug we already noticed here just a second ago, and that's that if I fight this guy he cannot attack me for some reason all his all his blade swings are doing nothing but this illustrates an important point if i left click a way up here way above him it will automatically attack him along the way so it's nice that, that even though i'm left clicking like okay if i left click way across the screen that's not on, along his path it won't attack him but let's say if i attack like that boom it should yeah there it attacks him along the way and same thing if I click behind him, way, way behind him, it's still attacking him along the way. But if I were to right click way behind him, it would just move. See there, I'm right clicking now, and it's allowing, well, I'm bumping off of him when I actually collide with this entity box, but other than that, I'm walking right past him. So this is really cool. We have a, a nice, um, a nice mouse input system. We've got the ability to highlight entities too. So like if I hover the cursor over him, it highlights him in white. If I hover the cursor over myself, it highlights me in white. Um, some of the next things to be written here are um, being able to like control entities, other entities this with the mouse too. Like check this out. If I step over here near one of these things that I can buy, this is an, uh, an object I can purchase using my gold. So I have 157 gold right now. And if I can use the keyboard if I wanted to, I could purchase this item. But I can't use the mouse yet. So 
Um, there needs to be some code written where um, if I'm near this object and I, I could just click a little button or something to buy it rather than having to hold the, a certain uh, keyboard key or if I was using a gamepad I would be holding a gamepad button so there needs to be a little bit easier way to use the mouse for purchasing items like that um, also accessing the menu there's no way to access the menu yet with the mouse so I need to create like a little mouse or menu button for the mouse also I'd like to have a button where like if you click the, the mini map it'll it'll load up the bigger mini map right now if I just press the W key it'll it'll bring up the uh, a bigger mini map uh, but like I'd, I'd like that to be um, um, clickable too. So like you click this, click the mini map right here. It'll bring up the bigger map. And also with this too. Oh, check that out. Hey, I didn't know you could actually select. That's kind of cool. You can select that. Um, things in this menu. Hey, cool. This menu works. But so we'll need to be able to access this this inventory menu uh, without keyboard without the gamepad so yeah that'll be the menu button basically but other than that the mouse support is almost all the way working there's I need to I need to also focus on um, making it really really smooth and, and just awesome like I need to fight a lot of enemies and go back into this AI code player AI dot text and refine this right there's there's gonna be some little bits of the way this scripting language handles certain events that could be a little bit better with enemies or you know just making the the end the all the uh, the attacking and the the automatic movement and the pathfinding all that kind of stuff just smoother and better of an experience from the player perspective so that's what's left to do with the mouse support so really made some great progress on uh, on this supporting the mouse and making you able to you you can use the keyboard you can use the mouse or you can use the gamepad whatever you're most comfortable with now